In today's session, we will be continuing our discussion on centroid calculation. So, let us take the first question. So, here we need to find out the centroid of a T section. So, how to locate the centroid of T section? The dimension is given as 100 mm by 150 mm by 30 mm. So, here we will draw the T section first. You can mark all the dimensions. The top rectangle, this rectangle is known as the flange of the T section, and this rectangle is known as the web of the T section. So, in order to locate the centroid of any section, the first step is to identify the reference axis. And normally, we will be selecting a vertical axis passing through the left end of the T section as one of the reference axis, and this is denoted by Y, and the another axis passing through the base of the T section as the second reference axis, which is denoted by X. When we choose the reference axis like this, we can see that the entire section lies in the first quadrant. So, the coordinates of the centroid will be always positive if it lies in the first quadrant. Now, in order to locate the centroid of this composite section, the second step is to divide this composite, composite section into simple figures. So, here this T section consists of two rectangular sections. So, we are going to divide this T section into two rectangles. So, this is first rectangle and this one is the second rectangle. Now, let us see how to locate the centroid of this composite section. So, before moving on to the solution, so what I am going to do is, I am going to draw a vertical line passing through the center of this T section. Now, in this figure, you can see that the T section is symmetrical about this line, right? So, uh, CG of the composite section lies anywhere on this line. So, I am going to assume that G, that is the centroid of the T section is somewhere here, that is at a distance of x bar from the y axis and y bar from the x axis. Now, how will you find out the values of x bar and y bar? For that, we can use this formula x bar is equal to a1x1 plus a2x2 divided by a1 plus a2, and y bar is equal to a1y1 plus a2y2 divided by a1 plus a2. And what is a1 and a2? What is a1? a1 is the area of the first rectangular section x1 is distance of CG of the first rectangle from y axis. What is x2? x2 is the distance of CG of the second rectangle, not the composite section, second rectangle, CG of the second rectangle from the y axis. What is y1 and y2? They are the distance of CG of the first rectangle and sec second rectangle from the x axis. Okay, now let us take the first rectangle. So, for the time being, we will remove the second rectangle. Okay, so we have only one rectangle. The dimension is 100 by 30. Now, we are going to find out A1, X1 and Y1 for this rectangle. And what is A1? A1 is the area of this rectangle. That will be 100 into 30, right? Now, what is X1? X1 is the distance of CG of this first rectangle from Y axis. Okay, distance of CG of the first rectangle from the y axis. And what is y1? y1 is the distance of CG of this rectangle from the reference x axis. Okay, so where will you get the centroid of this first rectangle? It will be exactly at the center of the rectangle. So this is g1. g1 is the centroid of this first rectangle. Now you know this distance, right? The distance of g1 from the base of the rectangle that will be how much? half of this one, half of 30, that is 30 by 2, right? That is CG of the first rectangle from the base of the rectangle. But we need the distance from X axis, that is Y1, right? So what is Y1? Y1 is the distance of G1 from this X axis. So what will be that value? This 120, 120 means from here to here, right? That plus this small distance, that is 30 by 2, that will be Y1. Okay, now what is x1? x1 is this distance, right? And what is this distance? Will be half of this 100. So, x1 will be equal to 100 by 2. So, what is a1? a1 is equal to 100 into 30. y1? 120 plus 30 by 2, that is 120 plus 15. And x1 is 100 by 2, which is equal to 50 mm. Okay, let us take the second rectangle. So, here also we will remove the first rectangle. So, we have only one rectangle here. The dimension is 120 by 30. Now, here also we will 
try to find out a2, x2 and y2. What is a2? a2 is the area of the second rectangle will be equal to 120 into 30. x2 is the distance of CG of the second rectangle from the y axis and y2 is the distance of CG of the uh, second rectangle from the x axis. So, where will you get the center of gravity of the second rectangle? It will be exactly at the center of the rectangle. That means will be at a distance of 120 by 2 that is half of this height from the x axis and it will be at a distance of 50 from y axis. This distance will be 50. Okay. So, a2 is 120 into 30, y2 120 by 2 and x2 is 100 by 2. Okay. Now, for convenience, I will be using a tabular format for finding out the centroid of the composite section. And the table consists of seven columns. The first column is used for writing a cell number, second one for, write, uh, for writing down the section, third column for uh, area of the symbol figures, then next column for xi, distance of CG from the y axis, then ai xi, product of these two columns, okay, then yi, distance of CG from the x axis distance of CG of symbol figures from the x axis and the last column denotes AI YI that is product of AI and YI. Okay. Now, we have already found out all the all the values. You can write down all those values in this table. So, rectangle 1 area is 3000 XI 50 multiply 3000 by 50 and you can write, write down that here. Then YI is 135. 3000 into 135 you can write down here. Okay, similarly, you can write down values of a rectangle 2. Now, you find out the sum of all the areas that will be equal to 6600. Then, you find out the sum of these two values that will give you 330,000. 330, right? Then, you also find out the sum of these two. These two values, you will get 621,000. Okay. Now, in order to locate the centroid, you can use the formula x bar is equal to sigma ai xi by sigma ai. There is this value, this value divided by 6600 that will give you 50 mm from y axis. Now, what is y bar? 621,000. This value divided by 6600, which will be equal to 94.1 mm from the x axis. So, this is the procedure for finding out the centroid of a composite section. Now, let us pass on to the next question. Okay. A uniform lamina is shown in figure. Determine the center of gravity of the lamina. All dimensions are in mm. So, the section is an example for a composite section which consists of three simple figures. They are semicircular section, rectangular section and a triangular section. So, in order to locate the center of gravity of the lamina or centroid of the lamina, the first step is to identify the reference axis. We will choose the reference axis in such a way that the entire section lies in the first quadrant. So, here y axis denotes the first reference axis which passes through the left end of the figure and the x axis represents the second reference axis passing through the base of the figure. Okay. Now, let capital G be the centroid of the composite section which is at a distance of x bar from y axis and y bar from x axis. We need to locate the centroid or in other words, we need to obtain the coordinates of this capital G. So, for that, we will divide this composite section into three simple figures. First one is semicircular section, second one is rectangular section and third one is triangular section. Okay. Now, using the formula, x bar is equal to a1 x1 plus a2 x2 plus a3 x3 divided by a1 plus a2 plus a3 and y bar is equal to a1 y1 plus a2 y2 plus a3 y3 divided by a1 plus a2 plus a3. We can obtain the coordinates of this centroid. Now, let us take the first one that is semicircle. So, we need to remove the rectangular section and triangular section. So, here I am going to remove the rectangular section first, then the triangular section. Now, we have only a semicircular section here. Now, first we need to locate the centroid of this semicircular section. So, 
when you draw a horizontal line passing through the center of the semicircle you can see that the section is symmetrical about that line so the cg of this semicircular section will be lying anywhere on this line and we have already learned that g1 will be at a distance of r from here right that is y1 and 4r by 3 pi from the flat end of the semicircular section okay so we need the distance of g1 from the y axis so it will be this this distance right x1 so what will be x1 the radius minus 4r by 3 pi will give you the distance x1 so a1 pi r square by 2 which is equal to pi into 25 square by 2 which is equal to 981.25 mm square what is x1 x1 will be equal to the radius minus 4r by 3 pi which is equal to 25 minus 4 into 25 by 3 pi which is equal to 14.4 mm and y1 will be the radius since we are drawing a horizontal line passing through the center of the semicircle this distance this vertical distance will be radius of the semicircle so y1 will be 25 mm from x axis now let's take the second one that is rectangle so here we need to remove the semicircle as well as the triangular section now we need to fix the center of this rectangular section so by drawing two diagonals you can mark the centroid of this rectangular section g2 and we need to find out the coordinates of this g2 from y axis and x axis okay so we know this distance right the g2 will be at a distance of 50 from the left end of the rectangular section and it will be at a distance of 50 by 2 from x axis okay so what is y2 y2 will be half of this height that is 50 by 2 and what will be x2 x2 will be the distance of g2 from y axis so we know this distance from g2 to here it is 50 and then you add 25 also so x2 will be 25 plus 50 so for rectangular section a2 will be equal to 100 into 50 that is 5000 mm square then x2 will be 25 plus 50 which is equal to 75 mm and y2 is equal to 50 by 2 which is 25 mm now let's take the third one that is triangle so here we need to remove the semicircular section and the rectangular section okay now how to locate the center of this triangle so for that first we will draw a vertical line passing through the center of this triangular section now from the figure you can see that the triangle is symmetrical about this line which means cg lies anywhere on this line and we have already learned that cg of the triangular section will be at a distance of h by 3 from the base of the triangular section that means it will be at a distance of h by 3 which is equal to 50 by 3 from the base of the rectangle but we need to locate the g3 from x so what is the distance of g3 from x it will be 50 plus 50 by 3 what about x3 x3 will be distance of c g3 from the y axis so it will be equal to 25 plus 50 plus 25 so for triangle cross section uh, area of the triangle will be half into 50 into 50 which is equal to 1250 mm square x3 is equal to 25 plus 50 plus 25 which is equal to 100 mm and y3 is equal to 50 plus 50 by 3 which is equal to 66.7 mm now for convenience we will make a tabular format which consists of seven columns the first one for sl number second one denotes the uh, symbol figures third one area of the sections x1 distance of cg of symbol figures from y axis then ai xi product of ai and xi yi the distance of cg of symbol figures from x axis the last column ai into yi product of ai and yi now we have already found out all the data all the values so you can transfer all the values here the first one is semicircle area will be 981.25 xi is 14.4 find the product of these two which will be 14130 you can write that in the next column then 25 and the product of ai and yi will give you 24531.25 similarly you fill the other values for rectangle and triangle now the next step is you find out the 
sum of all the areas which will be equal to 7231.25 then you find the sum of these data which will give you 514130 and find the sum of all the values in the last column now how will you locate the centroid we can use this formula x bar is equal to sigma a x i divided by sigma a i which is equal to you divide this value by this one right so 514130 divided by 7231.25 which will be equal to 71.1 mm from y axis similarly you can find out y bar also so the final value this one divided by sigma a will give you the y bar distance which is equal to 32.21 mm from x axis